What's up, Data Pipeliners? Welcome back to another episode on Writing Data Pipelines with Kedro. Today, we're going to be talking about advanced configuration for your Kedro pipeline. Now, in order to do advanced configuration for your pipelines, what you want to use is you want to use the templated config loader. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Data Engineer One. We talk a lot about data pipelining and especially Kedro. So this is an interesting topic for you. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and stick around. Now, what is configuration? Well, configuration for your pipeline can be anything. You can have configuration for your file paths. You can have configuration for your parameters. There's a whole plethora of configuration for your pipeline that you can use and take advantage of in order to make sure that your pipeline operates. Um, I think like probably my most often used use case for configurations is modifying your file paths. Now, sometimes what'll happen is when you move between your different environments for your Kedro pipeline, you might not necessarily have the same file path or the same root directories as you would in a different environment. Now, this is really useful because it allows you to just very simply and very straightforward uh, change a single parameter inside of one of your YAML files in order to adopt your pipeline in a new environment. So it's actually very, very great. Now what templated config loader does in general is it allows you to interpolate variables inside of your configuration files. And so this is very, very useful when you want to change like a base directory, for example. So let's go ahead and do an example here where we change the root directory for this example, Iris data. This allows you to specify a brand new variable right here, the root dir variable inside of the templated config loader, which will replace the configuration files um, variable here. And once it replaces this variable inside of your configuration, it gets loaded into Kedro with the replacement. And so this is how you can start to see that there's a lot of control here. To use the templated config, you actually have to modify your project context. So your project context, again, is located inside of your source, inside of your project directory, and then inside of the run.py. The function that we are going to be overriding is the create config loader function. So this is the function that the context uses in order to generate that, con that loader for us. So what we want to do here is we just want to basically replace the original configuration, the original config loader object with the templated config loader object. And so this is the object that will be returned instead of the original create config loader. Um, if you actually go through the code and take a look uh, at the base method for create config loader, what gets normally returned is the config loader. And so this is the default object. And what we're doing is replacing that object with our templated config loader. So here, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to pass in the configuration path. So Kedra looks at two paths, basically. It looks first at your base path, and then it looks at your environment path. Um, in order to specify an environment, there's two ways. The first is when you do your Kedra run, you can do dash dash m and then specify the environment, or you can change the Kedro env environmental variable, and you can put in your, your specific environment that way. Whatever it is put inside of the environment, uh, the Kedro environment parameter is going to be the folder that is looked at when uh, creating the configuration. So if we were to have, for example, inside of our conf, a new folder called new environment, then what's going to happen is when we set our Kedro environment to new environment, Kedro is going to look both at the base folder as well as the new environment folder for any configuration files that we want to use. In this case, we'll just go ahead and change this root directory. And there's two ways to specify this variable here. The first way is by using the globals pattern. What this parameter does is it allows you to specify exactly which files you want to pull the configuration from. 
So, for example, if we were to have a file here that says globals.yaml, what it's going to do is it's going to look inside of your configuration folder for your particular environment or this globals.yaml file. And in this case, what we want to have is we want to have a new root directory. So we can actually modify the root directory right here. Uh, in this case, um, what it's doing here is it's, again, looking for this globals.yaml inside of the base or inside of your new environment. So if you were to take this YAML file and put it inside of the configuration environment folder, you could change this to say the like new environment like that. And what would happen here is if we were to run the pipeline using the new environment as the environment argument, then we're going to be using this globals.yaml file located inside of that folder. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Running the pipeline normally, if we were to do catcher or run, and let's just go ahead and do the DE pipeline. It's just the split data pipeline here. This is when we load the Irish data set. We can see here that the load was just fine. And that's because, of course, the data does exist inside of that data directory. However, if we are going to use the new environment by either by specifying the, the environment parameter, it's going to read globals.yaml inside of the new environment folder, which has the new environment root, which of course does not exist. And here we have our error. And so it says um, failed to load the data from the new environment uh, file path. And so this is really great. What it means is that you don't have to make an entire copy of your catalog.yaml file in order to change one root path. So for example, if we were to have several, several instances of this example iris data set, and, and we don't want to necessarily modify every single one of those file paths, you could use this globals, um, this globals YAML file to modify that instead, dependent on your environment. And so it really is just like a, a very easy way to go forward. Now, the other way to modify that root directory variable is instead of using globals pattern, you could use globals dict. And so the difference between globals pattern and globals dict is that the globals dict is a direct specification of that variable. So in this case, what we're doing is we're, we're replacing the root directory with this slash global dict. And what's interesting here is that this overrides whatever environment you have specified. Meaning, if we were to still use our globals pattern and then say globals.yaml, we're going to override the root directory inside of that globals YAML with this globals dict. Let's go ahead and run the pipeline and we'll show you that. And you can see here, we're overriding that original path with global dict. Uh, and then I forgot this ending slash data. And so you can see that the globals dict overrides anything that your uh, global patterns has. And so this offers like a very useful case where you might want to have like an overriding environmental variable. And so you can specify this as the variable in order to override whatever environment you have. Let's go ahead and run the pipeline to show what that looks like. And you can see here, it tries to load in from that hello directory, which of course doesn't exist. Now, what's important to note here is that the root, this globals, direct, uh, this globals dictionary parameter overrides anything that's inside of the globals patterns parameter. That means that if there is no environmental variable called root dir override, what's going to happen is that that interpolation is still going to happen, but it's going to be a none value. So you're going to be passing a none value into your root dir, which means that when we run this, it actually is going to give us a different error. So it no longer gives us the proper file path that we're looking for. And you can see right here, no config value found. Make sure that your globals dict is not overriding anything that's inside of the globals YAML 
without specification. So what I like to do is I like to create the globals dictionary outside of the templated config. And then if a parameter exists, only then will I try to do the override. Let's go ahead and rerun the pipeline to make sure that worked. And there you have it. So you can start to see how this templated config loader is a very useful way to um, start overriding your, uh, your actual configurations with interpolated values. You can also, of course, use it to in interpolate any kind of environmental variables. And so this is how Kedro expects you to expand any environmental variables that you might have inside of the pipeline itself. And that just about wraps it up for today's video. If you find this content interesting, make sure that you button that like, sub that scribe, and ring that ding if you want to know when we are pipelining. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>